Hey everybody, welcome back to Ask Lex Rx. I'm Dr. Lexi, the functional medicine pharmacist here at Divine Health and Wellness inside of River City Pharmacy in Decatur, Alabama. Um, and today I wanted to go over some of my top tips for getting better sleep because sleep is so, 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 so important. Um, but sometimes like it, it's hard to say, oh, you should sleep better. And then we're kind of like, well, how do I go about doing that? So um, a good thing to do is to start um, having a routine that your body gets used to and so when you do that routine that it then knows hey I need to get ready for sleep and it it's easier for you to one go to sleep but also to stay asleep and to get that high quality sleep that we all need so the first thing I would do is to set a time to be in bed by and work backwards for this routine so um, ideally, you want to take at least 30 minutes to wind down before bed, um, but you can start with five minutes. You have to start somewhere, right? Um, and then you can add blue light blocking glasses. This is one of my favorite things because, um, like for instance, I get home and I'm going to bed two hours later. So I only have two hours from the time that I get home until I'm going to bed. Um, and so I throw on my blue light blocking glasses so that way... If my husband and I want to like share something that happened that day like on our social media or on our emails or anything like that or um, watch an episode of a show that we're watching to wind down um, usually those shows that we watch to wind down are like pretty light and um, humorous and they're not like super suspenseful or anything because that is not very relaxing let me tell you so um anyway the blue light blocking glasses no matter what we are doing i know that whatever light is accompanied is being blocked from my brain so that i or my brain knows that it's still time to make melatonin so i can go to bed um, and then one thing I've started doing, and I do recommend this for everyone, is I write down one thing that I'm grateful for that happened during that day. Um, and it can be as simple as, like, my coffee was really good. Or, you know, someone smiled at me today. Like, it does not have to be a big win. It can be. But as we know, big wins don't happen every day. And so just writing down and ending your day on a moment of gratitude can it honestly it changes the way that your the tension in your body is being held so it can um, help relax you and prepare you for bed so um, there's lots more different you know recommendations that you can pull into a bedtime routine or anything like that um, but some of the easiest ones to do are to set a time start working backwards to just wind down um, add those blue light blocking glasses and end your day in gratitude. So those are my top tips. Um, if you have any questions, um, let me know. And I would love to hear what um, is part of your bedtime routine, like what relaxes you, what, um, what all you're doing. Maybe we can um, bounce some ideas so we can um, help people out with some idea generation and so yeah um comment below with um what you do to help prepare your body for sleep and i will talk to you guys next time thanks